We are breastfeeding a seven-week-old and may get the J&J vaccine next week. Are there any potential hazards we should consider? Any benefit to waiting one to two months before deciding on the J&J one, given that we are isolating and low risk? Um, so I'll just say, just this is going to sound snarky, but this is just a long-standing, um, slight linguistic irritation of mine that, um, except in extraordinarily rare situations, people don't collectively breastfeed their baby. Um, and this started to become a thing like in the 90s, I think. You know, we're pregnant. No, you're not. She's pregnant. Um, we're breastfeeding. Nope. She's breastfeeding. Well, in this one case. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see the look on your face, but I'm right on this one. So Go in this it. case, there's a strong chance that uh, they are breast pumping, which has its own set of hazards associated with it. But it, what would the term be if a couple is using breast milk, but both of them are doing the feeding? Yeah, I think I would still say, you know, bottle feeding from breast milk or something, just because breastfeeding is um, the yeah. act, the the behavioral interaction as well. But I, you know, it's it's a it's a minor thing. Yeah. Um, and this question is terrific, and um, and certainly the person asking it doesn't deserve any. I'm not angry or upset. I'm just like, I'll bet only one of you is breastfeeding. Um, any potential hazards uh, to getting a J and J vaccine while breastfeeding a, a, ne- a practically a neonate? I'm seven weeks isn't neonate, but really, really quite young still. Any benefit to waiting one to two months? Um, given that you're isolating and low risk, I think so. I, um, I, I think there's a benefit to <clears throat> to just letting that kid get as much life behind him or her as possible before. Um, before exposing them. Um, I can't remember actually what the schedule of vaccines for babies is. It's been a long time since ours were tiny, but um, I don't think they vaccinate right away. Do they? Don't they wait? Maybe six weeks is actually the first vaccination date. And then I mostly, don't I don't remember. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, we, the expectation is that the, this, um, the effects of any vaccine that mom gets can be passed through breast milk and I don't know for sure that's true here, but that's the expectation. And so especially if, for instance, the regular vaccination schedule for baby doesn't start until six months, um, I would be real shy about um, mom who is breastfeeding getting any vaccination, not not just one that happens to be brand new uh, with a new technology um, while the baby is still so young. Yeah, I and agree. That's just, that's just caution. It's not based on data. We don't have the data. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, there is some evidence of immunity to SARS-CoV-2 being passed in breast milk, whether that could carry over from a vaccine and yeah. whether it even matters in this case since kids seem to be immune to it in the first place or very close to immune to it. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, the, the basic answer is you're dealing with a novel intervention in a complex system. You don't know what could be downstream of that. So caution and therefore delaying things uh, is sensible. And what you have to put that up against is something like the risk of contracting, of the parent contracting SARS-CoV-2 right. um, in the interim. And I would say so, the non-breastfeeding parent should go ahead with the schedule. You know, if, if, it were, if it were us and we were scheduled and I had a seven-week-old baby at the breast, um, and we had decided that now is the time to get the J and J vaccine. Um, I would, I think that I would push for you to go ahead and get it, and me to wait as long as we felt safe, and because that would help protect us collectively. Yes. The important thing, though, is if the decision was that it made sense to get it. And right. So if we had come to the conclusion. If we now, had come yeah. to that conclusion, mm-hmm. and so anyway, yeah. we are not eligible yet, so we have not come to any definitive conclusion. But I would say you and I both have trepidations about all of these. Uh, novel at various different level vaccines um, and are at comparatively low risk based on how much we're interacting with other people. So uh, it, it unfortunately is a very personal decision, but yes, right. uh, with a, with a child breastfeeding, um, I would say there is extra, extra risk and uh, reason for caution, especially if you're in a safe situation. 